This bike right here is Greg Van Avermaet's custom BMC Team Machine SLR01. The Team Machine SLR01 has had an update midway through 2017, so this is the absolute newest version. Significant and visible changes from the previous iteration of the model are the fact that it has direct mount brakes, both front and rear. It has a new integrated custom BMC stem, and also the position of the seat bolt clamp has changed, so it's now right there. The customness of Van Avermaet's bike has also toned down a little since last year. So he won the Olympics in Rio 2016 and to celebrate he did what I think anyone in that position would do and he got a full gold BMC bike. This year there are just some gold touches to you know, give a nod to the fact that he is reigning Olympic champion. Got the gold BMC lettering there, there's a very nice gold stripe along the left hand side of the top tube. Gold BMC lettering on the head tube and on the chain stays and the seat stays. And something that mechanics take great pride in, they are keeping Sharpie in business because they went out and bought a gold permanent marker just to mark Greg's seat height. Let's take a look at the build of the bike and start right at the top, where he has got a Physique Antares 00 saddle, so that's Physique's absolute top of the range saddle, full carbon fibre rails and a carbon fibre saddle body. Physique have helped Greg Van Avermaet out with his Olympic gold medal theme to this bike by providing a few gold flashes on the saddle too. Moving forward from that, we've got the aforementioned BMC stem and he's got 3T carbon fibre handlebars with the classic Belgian round traditional bend. Shifting and braking is provided by the latest version of Shimano's flagship Dura-Ace group set. So he's got the Dura-Ace DI2 SDI levers nestled just below them, very close to them actually. He has got sprint shifters, so they're perfect for changing up and down at the back when he's out the saddle or riding really hard in the drops. Moving back from there, he's got a Shimano Dura-Ace Di2 front mech and a Shimano Dura-Ace Di2 rear mech. This version of the Dura-Ace Di2 rear mech underwent a redesign, so it's actually incorporated a few elements that you may recognise from their mountain bike rear mechs. Brakes on the updated frame are both direct mount and they are both Shimano Dura-Ace and they're the latest version too. The chain and cassette are Shimano Dura-Ace and the cassette is quite an interesting one because We've seen pro cyclists switch to a new standard of an 11 through to 28 cassette. Van Avermaet goes a bit bigger than that though. He's got an 11 through to 30 cassette, which until a few years ago would probably be thought of more as a mountain bike cassette rather than a road bike cassette. Chain rings are 53, 39, and they are the previous version of Dura Ace because he's got an SRM power meter on that chain set and SRM only make a power meter that fits with the older version of the chain rings. The pedals on this one are also Shimano Dura Ace as are the wheels, and they're the latest version of Shimano's Dura Ace C40 wheels. Tyres, they're supplied by Vittoria, and they're the Vittoria Corsa tubular tyres, and they are marked up as 25mm wide, but we'll get our calipers and have a check of those later on. The final thing on the build of this bike are the Elite Bottle Cages, and again, in a nod, in tribute to Van Avermaet's really great Olympic victory last year, they've got some gold touches on them too. With the big bits of the build covered, we've just got to look at the finishing touches, the things that the manufacturers and the mechanics have added to really take Van Avermaet's Pro Bike to the next level. First up, I thought I had spotted all of the gold touches on this bike. It turns out I hadn't because they've added nice little gold cable end caps to the front and rear brakes. On the top tube, he's got his initials there in gold, which I think looks super, super cool. And he's also got an SRM PC8, so that's Power Control 8, and that's the latest version of their head unit. I was expecting that to be gold too, but it isn't on this bike. Right then, vital statistics time. Van Avermaet's cranks are 172.5 millimeters long, and as I've already mentioned, his gearing is 39.53 up front with an 11 through to 30 cassette at the rear. The tires of Vittoria, they're both marked up as 25 millimeters wide. The rear one comes in at 24.69, and the front one at 24.26, according to our calipers. His saddle height is around 77 centimeters. The stem is about 14 centimeters long, giving him a reach of about 60 centimeters. Van Avermaet's bars come in at 44 centimeters wide, center to center on the drops, which actually bucks the trend for pro cyclists right now, who are going for increasingly narrow bars in their never-ending quest for aerodynamics and marginal gains. The weight of the bike, this one comes in at 7.3 kilograms. So if he wants to get down below the UCI's lower weight limit, which of course he doesn't, but he will get close to it for the mountain stages, he's got about 500 grams to lose on this bike. And now it's time for the free hub sound test. Quite loud. 
I'm quite used to Shimano free hubs now though. If you'd like to subscribe to GCN, all you need to do is to click or tap our logo, which is on screen right now. There's also a link to our shop on screen right now too. To see our full 2017 Tour de France playlist, just click right there. And to see another randomly selected Pro Bike, just for you, click there.